Well, as you can see, today I find myself in outdoors, beautiful nature, Oregon, Silver Falls State Park. It is a beautiful day. It's extra cloudy. We got a little bit of drizzle. You couldn't ask for better conditions when coming to the forest because all of the light values are relatively even. However, that also presents a problem in terms of glare. All the surfaces are wet, so you want to make sure and bring your polarizing filter. On this particular trail, where I'm looking at the North Falls, 136 foot drop, I'm with one of my students, Omar, and we are calling attention to something that's a common mistake made by a lot of photographers when it comes to composition. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and you are watching Adorama TV. Adorama TV presents You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson. Hi, I'm Brian Peterson, and I'm the author of Understanding Exposure and Brian Peterson's Field Guide to Understanding Photography. As I mentioned, we are framing up this waterfall, utilizing the foreground here of uh, utilizing the foreground of these big leaf maples, and subsequently creating a sense of depth and distance with the background waterfall. But the one thing that Omar approached initially was he composed, as you can see, with the waterfall and directly above that, some of that gray sky. It's what I call a contrast shift. It distracts the eye from the overall scene because the eye follows bright versus dark. As a result, notice what happens next. I have him shift the camera down and eliminate that bright contrast shift. It's a pretty simple proposition, something you can do in camera. Don't let me catch you doing this in Photoshop. You can do it now while we're here. Hi, this is Brian Peterson inviting you to check out Adorama's latest contest. This could be your chance to win some great prizes. Something to think about the next time you're framing up composition. Keep an eye out for those high contrast shifts. As far as exposure goes, this is classic. Depth of field of F16 to 22, subsequently forcing a slow speed, and that also accounts for the cotton candy effect that you see on the water. In fact, this exposure time with a polarizer, 100 ISO, F22 for approximately four seconds. Hey, until next time, this is Brian Peterson saying, you keep shooting. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.